My first month I ate purely just meat. It was very close to this. I lost 10 pounds without limiting food at all. I probably was eating more food than I ever have in my entire life. And it was just through this kind of food. So I want you guys to experience that. There's just like a lot of noise out there about like what you can eat, what you can't eat, like the seed oils and this and that. And though that stuff is obviously, it's relevant, right? I believe that to begin reaping the benefits of carnivore, you just gotta start and just keep it simple. In this video, I'm gonna keep it very simple and give you those first two weeks that you can use for carnivore to pretty much just hit the ground running and you can even make this like your first month or even two if you'd like to. I'm gonna go ahead and explain the first meal plan for the week and the second one. I'm also gonna read it from <clears throat> my list here. First thing you'll probably notice is that I just have lunch with like parentheses breakfast beneath that and then dinner. I'll explain that in a moment here. But first meal, I will swear by this forever, is eggs and bacon for dinner pork ribs, okay? Second day is burger patties and salmon. Third day is ribeye steak. And then for dinner, pork chops. Fourth day is shrimp. So <laughs> eat a lot of shrimp. Don't dip it in the stuff. Just get shrimp and cook shrimp. Don't, you know, bread it or any of that stuff. Just get raw shrimp. For dinner, burger patties. Fifth day, New York strip steak with dinner of chuck roasts. Sixth day, again, bacon and eggs. Love it. And eating out that night. And then the beef ribs for the last day for lunch and then chicken wings for dinner. Go ahead and eat out, right? I have another video that I made here that you guys can check out if you, if you need it, if you want it. But I think that sometimes one of the hesitations for doing carnivore for people, even though there's like so many health benefits and you you know feel so damn good, is this concept of like, you can't socially eat out with people. It's not true, you definitely can. Watch that video to check out some of the stuff that you can eat in it, but also just like as a quick like tip, chicken breast, steak, chicken wings without the sauce, it's all good. Go ahead and treat yourself when you're going out because it doesn't need to be this like super military strict life that you're living. Go and have fun, obviously. And for a lot of people that really matters if you come from a lifestyle that was full of eating out or if you come from like more of a foodie kind of a background. So just know that you can do that and there are options for you. Anyways, moving on to the second week is pork ribs. Dinner could be beef patties. Second meal is uh, for breakfast slash lunch is eggs and bacon. And then for dinner is trout. Third meal is burger patties with T-bone steak at dinner. Fourth, New York strip steak for lunch, chuck roast for dinner. Fifth is scallops. I don't love scallops. I put them in there in case you like that kind of stuff. I'm not a huge fan. If you want to swap it with something else, totally can, but you definitely can eat that. And then for dinner is pork shoulder. For the sixth dinner, it's, or excuse me, sixth lunch, it's ribeye steak, which is always good. And then dinner is chuck roast. And then finally, the last meal of the week is, or the last day of the week is uh, eggs and bacon for lunch and then chicken thighs for dinner. Clearly this is not rocket science, right? If you wanna take the first week and then make that the third week, right? And take the second week and make that the fourth week and make a whole month out of this, like totally do that. I'm gonna go ahead and say like, I put more variety in this for everybody. And this is also something that I've learned through coaching. And as far as getting a lot of the nutrients and having a lot of variety, that that's, that's what we're including in this. I will say that I'm pretty simple and straightforward. I don't need like for myself a ton of variety. So if you're like that, you know, throw in more eggs and bacon, like if that does it for you. Throw in some sausage, also ground beef. I swear by ground beef and it's mad cheap, okay? If you didn't like chuck roast or if you don't, you know, particularly love having scallops like I do, put in the eggs and bacon and just make it easy. It doesn't have to be like this crazy, like follow this to a T type of meal plan. Again, this is like designed to set you guys up, help you out, give you at least the first two weeks a month so that you can just go to the grocery store, get the stuff and, and leave and then go cook it. Kind of back to some of the things with bacon, some of the, some there's some controversy about eating bacon because of what the actual pig eats. You know, what is the actual pig being fed? What does that look like? Because ultimately the food that our food eats, we ingest and then that's gonna affect us. There's, you know, various things coming around with seed oils and how that gets into some of the food that we eat. So for example, Euro meat is rather heavy on seed oils I've learned, which is really sucky because I flipping love Euro meat. It just depends on where you get it and who's cooking it, right? But as far as your first two weeks, if you're brand spanking new to carnivore, you really shouldn't be 
doing so much detail that can come in like week three and week four and it should come right as far as understanding what's affecting our bodies because seed oils really do matter the environmental things like what you're cooking with is it a cast iron pan like that kind of stuff does matter and we just like don't realize it as we learn carnivore and as we all like take in different information which we all should be for for really truly understanding carnivore pull from different places just like you're pulling from here but itself educate because this is very new literature relative to the rest of you know information we have let's say on other lifestyles and the reason is not that eating carnivore is new that's like the reason we're doing this is because this goes back to ancestral roots which is how they ate they were killing it their brain size grew their height was taller like this is how people have been eating for years but the data to track it to track what's going on with their blood and you know our general health inflammation all that is relatively new and that's what's been mind-blowing that's what's been coming out that's been so damn impressive and helping everybody with our autoimmune disease and all that kind of stuff what i'm saying is be sure to get information from a lot of different sources so that you know as you're learning more about kind of the intricacies of the type of food to eat this is designed to get you going i have a lot of people hit me up about like just general beginner information and or giving information to other people to help them out I really hope this this you know does the trick for you to get you you know to the right place at least to get going my first month I ate purely just me it was very close to this and I lost 10 pounds without limiting food at all I probably was eating more food than I ever have in my entire life and it was just through this kind of food so I want you guys to experience that I'm gonna kind of finish up with this carnivore lifestyle is just it, it's 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 always kind of evolving with new data like i'm saying so you can have raw dairy and you can have fruit there's a lot of older literature that's saying just meat and there's still kind of debate about the fruit side of things but here's kind of the general rule of thumb if you're new to carnivore i'm talking like the first let's say month and you want to try it out just for general weight loss let's say don't have any of the raw dairy or the fruit if you are dealing with obesity or autoimmune disease or like things you know rashes eczema that kind of thing or stomach aches where you can't sleep any of that stuff that's like even more troublesome don't i'm trying to avoid this sun <laughs> uh don't don't have any of the dairy don't have any of the fruit just stick to this meal plan for a little while at least that month and then to extend that to three months four months maybe even six months because our body is needing to heal its gut to heal itself and removing all of those other foods the dairy the fruit the vegetables it gives your body a chance to self-heal and we actually don't know what our body is affected by until we remove it and then bring it back in we don't know how bad we feel until we feel better really so sticking with just meat for a minute is going to help out in terms of figuring that out and then if we decide hey you know it's five months in and I'm going to start reintroducing some types of fruit or maybe I want to start trying like what raw milk tastes like and that kind of thing or raw cheese then that's an option to get going there and then you can kind of assess you know how you feel how's your body feeling with all that but this isn't obviously including that so hopefully you guys got something out of this i love talking about carnivore because i truly believe that we as a society are stuck in this matrix of companies that are feeding us content and you know meal plans let's say that are not necessarily 100 percent driven by a desire to make us healthier I believe that we have a system in healthcare that really just basically helps people when they get sick and it just puts them on pills forever rather than curing the actual problem and giving us information on nutrition. I know with medical school, nutrition is a teeny tiny like one class component of medical school, which is mind blowing. And so it's not that, you know, doctors are intentionally trying to hurt anybody. We as a, society, as a society lack information on food and the way we've eaten historically has kept us trapped in a mental health and physical health crisis that I think with carnivore, we're actually starting to break out of that matrix and uh, figure out how to eat to be happy and healthy and pass that on to our friends and family. So I also talk about life without drinking. Uh, I also think our society is stuck in a matrix of alcohol and to each his own. I truly don't care if anybody drinks. I would say 99.9% .9 of my family and friends do drink. They're still my favorite people. It's not a judgment thing. I stopped drinking when I was 25 or 26 years old after seeing what my mom was going through. I thought it was gonna be the worst thing 
thing ever before I did it. I was, I didn't want to stop. I spent years struggling, trying to figure out ways to drink basically. And I realized after not drinking that that was probably the best thing I ever did for myself was stop drinking. And it was like life suddenly actually got so much better, which I know sounds weird. So I also believe that we're kind of stuck in this matrix of alcohol. Talk about that kind of stuff all the time. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, comment below. Love to hear your thoughts on this or subscribe below. I talk about this all the time. And if you did get something out of this video, or if it did help you or give you information, go ahead and like it, please, so that other people who are like us can find it and can get a little bit of assistance as well in improving their lives. I really do appreciate you guys watching and I really hope this helps somebody. I really look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. And uh, until then, I hope you all have a great day. All right, see you guys.